Hello. Good morning. Today, I'm going to make a video about... Okay, so today, the video is about... This video is going to be about depth of field, but this is going to be a, a sort of more in-depth... Um, because I think last video I touched on um, depth of field, but I didn't really get into it as for, for what it is. Um, I kind of explained the technical aspect but let me try to now portray it to you in a way that you could uh, understand when taking your own photos. Okay, so depth of field. What depth of field is, is depth of field is when you're taking your picture and like say you have a guy in the foreground, a guy in the middle ground, and a guy in the background. Okay? and their faces are kind of like one, two, three, okay? And you want to get all of them in focus, or you want to just focus on that one and have the other two kind of blurred out, you know what I mean? So depth of field is the control of that. And today I'm going to teach you about depth of field. Okay, um, first thing, most important thing is lighting. I'm always going to say that because when you're doing things as far as depth of field is concerned you're going to need a small aperture and to have a small aperture you're obviously going to have to have enough lighting so that you can still probably hold your camera I mean you don't always, if you have a tripod or something you're out well, most people don't have a tripod most people are holding their camera so that's why I'm relating to y'all okay so if you're holding your camera um, you still want to have enough light where your shutter speed can be say one one hundred because at that you can still hold it one one twenty fifth I'd say too so because you can still hold it and get um pretty clear pictures you know what I mean pretty sharp pictures depending on how much movement but we're gonna get that in, in, into that in a second so depth of field like I said you need you need good lighting so um what you would do is you would decrease or increase the aperture to get the look you want okay and the aperture is the f-stop on the camera see mine right now mine right now is at 2.8 on the f-stop so to increase or decrease I could see f4, f4.5, 5.6, f8, f13, f18 22 and this one goes to 32 okay what I'm doing is when I'm doing that I'm making the the iris of the camera I'm making it smaller and smaller the higher the number goes I'm making the, the iris of the camera smaller and smaller and smaller and the smaller it gets then the more you're gonna have, have in focus in your camera I mean in your picture obviously yeah, the more you're gonna have like say if you're doing foreground, middle round, background, the if at F twenty two you can have the whole pillow to the couch and everything in in focus. At F two point eight you can have maybe like say you just want to catch the corner of it and then have everything else kind of blur out to go out, you know what I mean, in the back of the picture. Then you would low you could you would lower the F stop to like say F two point eight or or lower or even higher depending on the kind of lens you have but that's what you would do to get that kind of like spot on and then the rest of everything else would be kind of blurred out you know what I mean? that kind of thing so um that's basically what your f-stop does and all there's also hyperfocal distance you have to take that into account too and basically what that is is hyperfocal distance is the optimum distance to get the um the most in like for instance if I'm taking a picture of this pillow Okay, I'm 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 gonna keep using this pillow because it's right there, so I can I can kind of use it as a subject. That's why I kind of have it here. So if I'm taking a picture of this pillow and I'm standing back, like say where the camera is now, at that distance it would be a good distance depending on what millimeter I'm at. Like right, I, I guess if I would say if I was at uh, this is 17 to 50, I guess if I was at 17 millimeters standing about this about four four feet away you know what I mean that would be I don't know if that's the optimum but that would be a good distance to get the whole thing in focus you know what I mean 
So that's what hyperfocal distance is. Hyperfocal distance is the optimum distance that you're at, forward or backward, you know what I mean? To get that that um that perfect kind of look to the picture where everything's in focus and everything's sharp. You know what I mean? Because if you go forward then you can have things that are out of focus, you know what I mean? Like, if, you, if the, the closer you go, if I go closer to the pillow, the more it's going to be out of focus on the pillow. Okay, you know what I mean? So that's basically what I'm saying. That's what hyperfocal distance is. So that was just the, um, that's basically that. And, um, that's the field and everything. And, um, yeah, so just, uh, drop a comment. Peace out, dudes.